Hi, welcome back to my channel. No one wants to spend their birthday alone. Fame TV host Wendy Williams turned 60 today, July 18th. But unfortunately, she reportedly won't be around loved ones to celebrate the milestone birthday. An insider shared with InTouch that Wendy Williams' friends and family plan to throw a huge party for her 60th. However, that may not happen as they're unable to get in touch with her. The source said, It's all very sad that no one can reach her to wish her a happy birthday. The added, Wendy loved parties. Her birthday was a big deal for her. If you've been keeping up with the Eve Star news coverage of Wendy Williams's life as of late, it may come as no surprise that she won't be able to celebrate her birthday with people who are important to her. In June, Williams' alleged longtime friend Regina Shell slammed her court-appointed guardian Sabrina Morrissey for allegedly isolating the celeb from family. Regina Shell shared with an entertainment publication, this is a Britney Spears thing, only it's worse since it's not even Wendy's family who has control. At least with Britney Spears, it was her dad, it was her family. This is a woman who's not even family. And how does this guardian get all this standing? And added, initially when I was staying with Wendy in the summertime, we were like triangulating, we were speaking to Sabrina, but then she kind of disappeared. Wendy's guardianship started in 2022 after Wells Fargo froze her accounts and requested a court hearing to determine whether she needed a guardian due to her ongoing health conditions. Later on, her reps revealed she was diagnosed with aphasia and frontotemporal dementia sometime in 2023. She was reportedly placed in a cognitive facility. Wendy's sister, Wanda Finney, however, said that she and other family members were kept in the dark by her care team regarding Wendy's health condition. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. Wanda told People back in February when asked what Wendy has been diagnosed with. According to Wanda, she last received an update about her sister's health troubles after she took a break from The Wendy Williams Show in 2021. Wanda shared, when she was in Florida, there were a number of people involved. She continued, even beyond family, there were doctors involved, people in Wendy's professional world that were involved. She had a health team in place, nurses in place, and she had family in place. She was getting healthier. Behind the scenes, Wendy Williams has battled with health issues, most notably Graves' disease. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disorder that affects the thyroid gland, leading to symptoms such as fatigue, weight loss, irritability, and in severe cases, eye problems and heart issues. Wendy Williams was diagnosed with Graves' disease in 2018 after years of struggling with symptoms that affected her energy levels and overall well-being. The disease has required ongoing management, including medication and lifestyle adjustments to help stabilize her thyroid function and alleviate symptoms. Throughout her career, Wendy Williams has been open about her health struggles, often discussing them candidly on her show. Her transparency has resonated with viewers and fans, many of whom have admired her courage in facing health challenges while maintaining her professional commitments. However, managing Graves' disease has not been without its difficulties. There have been instances where Wendy Williams has had to take medical leave from her show to focus on her health and recovery. These absences have underscored the unpredictable nature of autoimmune diseases and the importance of prioritizing self-care. In conclusion, Wendy Williams' ongoing battle with Graves' disease has shaped her personal and professional journey in profound ways. Through it all, she has demonstrated courage, resilience, and a commitment to transparency that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Her story serves as a reminder of the strength found in vulnerability and the importance of advocating for one's health and well-being. What are your thoughts on this entire situation? Tell us in the comments.